Ever wanted to have a go at a coconut? Well over on today I fucked up quite a few men have tried and failed to achieve this mythical goal. These are their stories. This tiff didn't happen today but quite a few years back. For obvious reasons I'm using a throwaway account as my family knows my main reddit username. Anyway, around 8 years back I lived in northern Mozambique, a coastal southern African country with quite a warm climate. My mother at the time was going through a health nut phase and only buying foods she deemed healthy enough. One of these was coconuts. She would buy several coconuts a week to use in food from the local market. Anyway, being a horny teenager I fapped in regular intervals. Unfortunately there was some severely stressful examinations coming up for me and as such my fapping reached a higher peak than usual and I was feeling pretty sexually frustrated. One day I hear that my mother is going to be out for pretty much the entire afternoon. Horny me decides that it would be a fantastic idea to fuck a coconut. Honestly to this day I can't fathom why I thought that would be a good idea but my train of thought back then was clearly somewhat clogged. I end up grabbing the coconut drill and through 20ish minutes of concerted effort end up creating a hole large enough for me to stick my porker into. I decide it requires some lube and grab the nearest slippery thing some butter before shoving it into the coconut followed shortly by my meat. I fuck the coconut and it actually feels pretty damn good so I blow my load, shove the coconut under my bed and continue about my day. For the next week the coconut is my savior. Whenever I want to get off I simply take it out and fuck it in its delightfully tight hole made better each time by accumulating volumes of my semen and butter acting as a lubricant. It's heaven. Now before I continue I'd best mention that at the time our area was experiencing quite humid, muggy weather which exacerbated an already existing fly problem. Disgustingly fat, bloated flies were commonly found around our house and the exterminators couldn't really do anything because it was a localized area problem that would go away in the winter. About a week and a bit after the initial coconut fuck I had been using it pretty much every day since then I begin to notice a few more flies than usual as well as an odd, unpleasant smell about my room. Must be the coconut right? So I decide that I'll fuck it once more before I throw it out and get a new one. Worst mistake I have ever made. You see, the reason for the increased number of flies was that the coconut was evidently, in hindsight, a nearly perfect place to lay eggs. As I penetrate the coconut one last time I begin to feel a strange wriggling sensation. Puzzled, I pull my cock out to discover that it is covered in rotted and moldy butter and semen and teeming with tiny fucking maggots. They were wriggling all over my dickhead and some were even trying to force their way up into my urethra. I screamed and threw the coconut against the wall which made the situation worse by spilling the contents. Hours of vigorous cock scrubbing, vomiting, and cleaning the remnants were spent reflecting on what the fuck I was doing with my life. Never again. Never again. TL. Doctor don't fuck coconuts. So I had a dinner date set up for earlier this afternoon. About 4pm at a local cafe for coffee and bagels. My date was a local girl from the music shop whom I've had a decent friendship acquaintanceship with for several months. I asked her coffee and to my surprise she accepted. That was last week. Fast forward to this morning and I'm on here reading all these coconut horror stories. Honestly, I can overlook the perversion stuff, and was more surprised that everyone had bad experiences with it. On my weekly trip to the market for groceries I grabbed a coconut. An unusual purchase for me. But then again this is an unusual evening. My logic was that I'd get one out into the coconut this afternoon to last longer should anything happen tonight. I, personally, had no bad experience with the coconut though I'm sure the coconut wouldn't say the same. The cafe date goes well. She asks if I want to go to her place to Netflix and chill. Of course I'd never turn that offer down. We put on some Futurama, tell stories and laugh. Things start getting a little frisky after I kiss her. God bless this poor girl's soul. She decided to give me a BJ on the first date. She comes off of it after maybe only 45 seconds and asks me, Why do you taste like coconut? I'm really allergic to coconut. That was the end of fun times. I tried to explain what Reddit is and ask her if she browses this sub. She had no idea what I was talking about. While I'm explaining this I'm watching her face get redder and redder. She notices and starts rubbing her face. I ask her if she needs to go to the hospital or if she needs any medication. She kindly but firmly says no and asks me to leave for the night. TLDR got intimate with a nut. Later while trying to get a nut, I got a girl who can't handle nuts and now thinks I'm nuts. No word on a second date. I'll text tomorrow. Okay so, I was oddly aroused by all these coconut tiffers that I decided to do it. I mean why not? Already learned from everyone's mistakes. 
went to the supermarket bought multiple green sweet cocker babes in case I liked it. I made the hole a little big bigger since my head is abnormally bigger and I am taking a large one. After that I microwaved it, took the coconut to bed and started caressing it, talking to him like to make a connection idk, after I felt comfortable I started fucking it hard, it felt divine, it was so warm and tight, didn't take me long to come. The suction was better than a vacuum cleaner. I finished, left it on the floor as I was too lazy to throw it out and said I was gonna do it as soon as I woke up so my so old and find out. I woke up to the sound of someone falling and saying what the fuck. Me are you okay him yay I just slipped on something I started panicking when he bent over and started touching the wet spot on the floor and he smell it. Him what the fuck is this, if you come on the floor at least fucking clean it. I am gonna be late for work now he stormed off the room and closed the door really loud coconut rolled over under the bed. He doesn't know I am a coconut fucker abd he is ignoring my texts. Gonna throw it out and apologize when he gets home. TL. Doctor so slipped on my cum cause I was too lazy to clean it up. I'm a single man who goes on reddit and has a discount at Trader Joe's. So naturally I'm a perfect candidate to try and fuck a piece of fruit after reading about it. So using my TJ's discount, I pick out my specimen along with some coconut oily thought it'd fit the theme better than butter. I go home, get the fixes ready and start the juicy joke. It's going good for a good while until I realize something this isn't a coconut. Being from a southern family that only knows of starch and fat, tropical produce is mostly foreign to me and in my excitement I realize I picked out a kiwi instead, not a coconut. The frustration from my mistake made me lose my erection, and the squishy kiwi slid down my now flaccid shaft and onto my cat, soaking him with kiwi juices. Now I have a wet cat, still haven't lost my coconut virginity, and Trader Joe's isn't open until tomorrow. TL. Doctor tried to fuck a coconut, but mistakenly fucked a kiwi. I know, if you're editing this you probably think I'm an idiot, and you'd be right, but we've had three lessons. I thought I knew better, I thought I could learn from the failures of the past three and achieve greatness, I was a fool. Throw the coconut away, okay no problem, cut a big enough hole, okay I'll remember that. Don't want to get stuck, don't be allergic to coconuts, no allergies here so no problem. So I'm all set, I buy the coconut and return home. I don't have a coconut opener or know what that is but I have a big knife. Things are all set but coconuts are surprisingly hard to get into. I'm trying to cut it with the knife and not really getting anywhere. I start stabbing it violently half out of just frustration, and as the coconut activates its defenses my knife deflects off the hard shell and stabs my other hand. I look down at it in horror for a second and then the blood starts leaking. I bled everywhere. There was so much blood. I'm cleaned up mostly now but take my failure as a precautionary tale. Fucking a coconut is a very dangerous game and men have failed before you. TLDR tried to do what others could not and stabbed myself with a knife. I am on mobile so sorry about format. First time poster. TLDR at the bottom. Sorry if my English is bad. Be glad. I am not fucking or trying to fuck a fruit in this post. In fact, I don't think I'll be buying fruit for a week at least. It's bad luck. On to the fuck up. I read the first tifu yesterday, and let me just tell you I am really giggly. Anything can make me laugh. So I read the first maggot post, had a good belly laugh, and went to bed. I woke up like 2 hours ago and decided that I wanted to cook breakfast. It was going pretty well, made myself a cheese omelette, put on the kettle for some tea, and I'd been craving boiled eggs for a while so I took two, put them in the pot and turned on the stove. Now I decided it'd be a good time to scroll some reddit, so I did that, for about 7 or 8 minutes. At this point I started reading about the two more people who had their fair share of bad coconut experience. While I was reading that, the water the eggs were boiling in starts bubbling, and the kettle starts whistling too. Never try to handle hot boiling water without paying full attention to what you're doing. Especially when you're laughing at other people's fuck ups. My hand missed the handle of the pot the eggs were in and landed on the hot, hot surface of the kettle. Naturally, I screamed what the fuck on the top of my lungs and jerked my hand back, only to knock over the pot the eggs were in, onto my legs. I cried, it burned, I was wearing shorts and barefoot. TLDR was red in coconut fleshlight fuck ups and boiling eggs, was laughing and not paying attention. Spilled boiling water onto my legs. Was wearing shorts and barefoot. Going to be short. So I get up to feed my cat. And I'll leave Reddit open. Unlocked. On our tifu. 
Now, if you are unaware, bodily discharge sexual content posts will be removed unless it's the weekend. Overly vulgar posts will still be removed. If you take one look at our tifu on the weekend, it's all sexual and ejaculation posts. Now. What do they see while my sweet kitty is being fed? Tifu by coming into a cocoon of Tifu by not listening to a Tifu post and getting my dick stuck in a coconut Tifu by pumping 5000 volts of electricity through my wife's nipple. Me, being unaware that they did that, returned to my phone and there was no evidence they went through it. 30 minutes later, the TV turns on with a PowerPoint presentations on the responsibilities of safe sex. The room goes dark, and it's on autoplay. I'm thinking WTF do they think I don't have sex education fast forward 6 slides of safe sex. It says everyone has their own kind of where they enjoy themselves. These are called fetishes. There are normal fetishes, but there are not. It is not healthy to get off on fruit and vegetables. This is where I get up, turn on the light and say where the fuck do you get the idea I fuck fruit. I was told, the page I had opened of favorited fetishes. I end up introducing them to reddit. Luckily, they don't know my username so I can post this. TLDR left reddit open, ended up having to watch a powerpoint presentation on safe sex and why it's not okay to do fruit. I guess you could say these guys almost worked out the secrets to the universe and just simply flew too close to the sun. The lessons they have taught us shall not be forgotten. Now please everyone press F to pay your respect for our fallen.